History will repeat itself. After Democrats have won back control of the House of Delegates and the Senate in Virginia, it seems that they forgot about the 22,000 people who marched on the Capitol in Richmond to stand against gun control. Why do I say that? Well, the Democrats have just pre-filed two bills, HB2 and SB2. What are they? They're an assault weapons ban and a magazine ban in Virginia. Here we go again. Before I get into this, I want to thank the sponsor of the video, and that's the Sonoran Desert Institute. I know a lot of you out there are just like me, and we like to repair or modify our own firearms. If you're looking for a way to take your hobby to the next level and make some money doing it, the Sonoran Desert Institute can help you. The online programs at SDI cover armorers, courses, gunsmithing, ballistics, woodworking and finishes, uh, shooting sports management, drone uh, usage. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on there, guys and gals. Plus, the tools and materials you need are shipped directly to your door for hands-on practice. It's never been a better time to get an education you can actually use on the job and make some money doing it. So what are you waiting for? Visit sdi.edu slash gng to learn more. All right, I just remember to have this sticker on my sleeve. I love my daughter. All right, guys, uh, <laughs> let's, let's talk about this. HB2, SB2, they've just been submitted. Uh, they've been pre-filed in the last few days. And I wanted to bring this attention to you because... The anti-gunners are trying to flip Virginia again. They didn't learn last time. And when 22,000 people marched on the Capitol, they kind of went into hiding. But now they feel comfortable again, and they're back. If you want more information like this, and you think the Second Amendment is paramount to this country's success, individual liberty, etc., then like this video and subscribe down below. On the screen here are the points that I want you to know from these bills. First is that it establishes a gun buyback or a gun giveback program for the surrendering of assault firearms. And we'll get into that definition here in a second. Now in Virginia, they're supposed to, when guns are surrendered, or they do buybacks, uh, they're, they're supposed to be auctioned off. This would change that program to where they would be destroyed by the locality, unless an owner specifically tells them he wants it auctioned off. Before we start mentioning everything in the bill, you need to know what an assault firearm is. Well, under this bill, a semi-automatic center-fired rifle or pistol that expels a single or multiple projectiles by action of an explosion of a combustible material with a fixed magazine capacity in excess of 10 rounds. That's one, two. A semi-automatic center fire rifle that expels single or multiple projectiles by action of an explosion or combustible material that has the ability to accept a detachable magazine and has one of the following characteristics. A folding, telescoping, or collapsible stock. A pistol grip that protrudes conspicuously beneath the action of the rifle. A second hand grip or protruding grip that can be held by the non-trigger hand. A grenade launcher. A flare launcher. A sound suppressor. A flash suppressor. A muzzle brake or a muzzle compensator, or any characteristic of the like kind as enumerated in Clause I through X. Number three, all the same characteristics, but for a pistol. So this is all your AR, AK pistols. Number four, a semi-automatic shotgun that expels single or multiple projectiles by action of an explosion of a combustible material that has one or more of the following characteristics. So if your shotguns have a folding, telescoping, or collapsible stock, a pistol grip that protrudes conspicuously beneath the action of the shotgun, the ability to accept a detachable magazine, a fixed magazine capacity in excess of seven rounds, or any characteristic of the like as enumerated in clauses one through four. Or a shotgun with a magazine that will hold more than seven rounds of the shortest ammunition for which it is chambered. An assault firearm does not include any firearm that is an antique firearm that has been rendered permanently inoperable, is manually operated by a bolt, pump, lever, or is manufactured before July 1 of 2024. All right, now that we know assault firearm is just about everything, what do they want to stop free Americans who don't get this right to carry these things from government? What does government want them to do or stop doing? Here we go. The importation, sale, possession, etc. of assault firearms are prohibited, and there'll be penalties. A. As used in this section, an assault firearm means the same 
as that term is defined in what I just read to you. B, any person who imports, sells, manufactures, purchases, possesses, transports, or transfers an assault firearm is guilty of a class one misdemeanor. C, the provisions of this section shall not apply to any government agent, officer, employee, or anybody in the armed forces, so police and military, they're exempted, they get to have all of their rights, but you don't get to have yours. The importation, sale, possession of assault firearms prohibited by persons younger than 21 years of age. So they're raising the age to 21. Oh, by the way, if you're jammed up in any of these new sections under this law, if it is in fact signed into law, then you forfeit your possession of those guns to the government and they'll be destroyed probably. At this point, I want to mention that it is imperative that people in Virginia make noise to your legislators. How? Where do you find them? In the link below, in the pinned comment and in the description, I will have a link for you so you can punch in your information and figure out who your legislators are and it tells you how to get a hold of them. Also watch the video pinned above where I call my US senators and tell them what I want to tell them, but I film it as I do it live so that you can see how easy it is and not be intimidated by doing that. Because yes, Virginia has a Republican governor and a, who says they're pro-gun. The, the lieutenant governor we know is pro-gun and the attorney general, eh, is defending, you know, universal background checks, which is the registry and all that crazy stuff. But the people need to be involved. They heard us in 2020, 22,000, it's a small estimate, 22,000 people with guns around the Capitol and nobody was harmed. Nobody was maimed. Nobody was killed. In fact, we cleaned up. Our people cleaned up and left the area better than we found it. Guys and gals, the VCDL, the Virginia Citizens Defense League, is doing a ton of work to educate you, the gun owners who live in Virginia. You don't even have to be a gun owner. If you just believe in individual liberty, if you believe in freedom, if you believe in America, the Constitution, the Second Amendment, if it means something to you, then stop these anti-gun communist American bills in their tracks. Then there's this, the sale, transfer, etc., of certain firearm magazines prohibited and a penalty. As used in this section, a large capacity ammunition feeding device means a magazine, belt, drum, feed strip, or a similar device manufactured on or after July 1 of 2024 that has the capacity of, or that can be readily restored or converted to accept more than 10 rounds of ammunition, but does not include an attached tubular device designed to accept and capable of operating with only 22 caliber rimfire ammunition. Be any person who imports, sells, barters, or transfers a large capacity magazine is guilty of a class one misdemeanor. The provisions of this section shall not apply to law enforcement. There's also, a, how many are there? Uh, 20, 20 different entries of uh, what will disqualify you from a concealed carry permit. I want to show you one, but I want to tell you that this bill will be linked down below for your ease. An individual who's been convicted of two or more misdemeanors within a five-year period immediately preceding the application of the permit, if one of the misdemeanors was a class one misdemeanor, but the judge will have, shall have the discretion to deny a permit for two or more misdemeanors that are not class one. Traffic infractions and, and misdemeanors set forth in Title 46.2 should not be considered for purposes of dis disqualification. So Virginia is looking to have you lose your right, your God-given right, shall not be infringed if you have been convicted of misdemeanors. We don't lose our rights in this country typically for misdemeanors. It's usually a felony. And you have to go through a whole process, be found guilty by a court, you know, a jury of your peers in a court of law, due process, yada, yada, yada. My question for you, Virginia, is will you be able to stop this? Will you stand? Will you unite? Will you make enough noise where your legislators see the light? Or does the march on the Capitol have to happen all over again? Let me know what you think down below. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Subscribe to this channel to stay in the know. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.